Hello, welcome to Unit 7, Excel Formulas and Functions. We are going to be looking at the following topics. Firstly, we'll look at the introduction. Then I'll show you how to enter formulas in Excel. Also how to copy formulas. Then we'll look at some few errors when using formulas. And lastly, using functions. At the end of this unit, you should be able to firstly differentiate between formulas and functions, enter simple formulas and functions, use the copy handle to enter multiple formulae, use absolute and relative cell references, and use basic conditional formatting. We'll look at some terminologies before we begin. A formula is an equation that can perform calculations. And in Excel, formulas always start with an equal sign. Excel also has a library of building formulas that take values, perform operations, and return other values. These are known as functions. An operator is a sign or symbol that specifies the type of calculation to perform within an expression. And a constant is a value that does not change. Now we are ready to learn how to use formulas and functions. Now, in Excel, formulas are also known as equations. And to use this to perform calculations, return information, manipulate contents of other cells, test conditions. Now, some of the mathematical operators include addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponentiation, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Excel also follows the order of precedence when carrying out calculations. That is like the board mass rule that you are already familiar with. Now, the order of precedence that is followed by Excel begins with calculations in brackets, then deals with percentages, exponentiation, multiplication, then division, and lastly, addition and subtraction. Now, we move on to the practical stuff. I'm going to show you how to enter a formula in an Excel spreadsheet. On the screen is an example of a personal budget spreadsheet that's going to allow us to enter some formula. We would simply enter or rather enter simple formulas that will calculate monthly savings given the monthly income and expenses and monthly expenses. Now, if you remember, we, we recently mentioned that in Excel, before you enter a formula, you need to start with an equal sign. Therefore, I'm going to enter an equal sign. Now, there's something you need to note. The moment you enter an equal sign, Excel now readies itself to accept cell addresses that are going to be included in the formula. It means if you were to click on any cell on the spreadsheet, the cell address for that cell is going to be included in the formula. And it's going to change until you've added a mathematical operator. For example, say C9, if I add another operator, if I add an operator there and I click on a different cell, that will also be added. But that is not the, the formula that I want to enter. So I'm going to enter the correct formula. Our monthly savings is going to be given by the difference between the income, monthly income, and the monthly expenses. Therefore, I'm going to click on the monthly income for April. That is in the cell B4. Then I'll add the mathematical operator, which is minus. And then I click on 
the monthly expenses for April, which is B5. We are done with our formula, so we press the Enter key on the keyboard. There we go. And you can confirm that this answer is correct. Because if you take the income for April, you subtract the expense for April, that should give you a hundred Namibian dollars. Now, I could enter the same or a similar formula in the other cells, but in Excel, you don't need to do that. Instead, you simply copy the formula. How do you copy the formula? You place your cursor at the bottom right corner of the cell where you have entered the first formula. You click and hold, then drag to the right. That is across the row. Once you have reached the last cell where you want the formula to be applied, then you release the mouse. There we go. Now we've been able to calculate our monthly savings for all the months just by dragging and copying the formula across. Secondly, we'd like to calculate our totals. Now in this case, we need totals for both income, expenses, and finally the total savings. We are going to do the same thing. We'll enter just one formula and copy it down. Of course, we need to begin with an equal sign. Then you click on the first cell. That is B4. Now, because we are calculating the total, it's uh, the addition sign, not the subtraction again. Then you click on the second one, which is C4 plus D4. So that's going to add up the income for April, May, and June. Once you're done, again, you press the Enter key on your keyboard. There you go. Can you remember how we're supposed to copy the formula? Yes. You click on the cell where we entered the formula. You go to the bottom right corner of that cell until you see this solid cross, black cross. You, you click and hold, then drag. This time we're dragging down within the column. Once you reach there, then we release the mouse. The formula for total has now been copied down. And we've got our total for expenses as well as the total savings. There we go. This is how you enter a formula in Excel and copy it across the row or down the column.